<coughs> All right. Hey there, YouTube. Uh, Van City Highballer here again. I wasn't too happy with that last video for, I think, pretty obvious reasons. Um, the audio, of course, is freaking terrible, and I say, um, way too much, so hopefully this time I have my thoughts a little bit more organized. Uh, so I'm gonna probably leave it up, but I'm gonna call this one, uh, uh rant, um, 1.5 instead of, you know, 2 properly. This is kind of the replacement for it. Uh, just on my way to work right now, but, uh, Six in the morning. Thought I'd dick around with the GoPro and uh, try to do a better, uh, better review of the highball for long term. Also, I got a better mic, uh, one that's inside my helmet. Last time, I was basically just yelling through my helmet to the GoPro. So hopefully, this will work out way better. Anyways, uh, another shout out to my uncle. Again, he's got his own channel where he's, you know, plays around with his boat and his bike, and his bike's a, a Ninja 1400R. So, kind of a completely different monster than this thing, that's for sure. Uh, I think it's still, I think it's, I guess it's second f quickest foot bike you can get now uh, on the street next to probably the H2. So it's pretty fast. I definitely can't keep up on this thing. Of course, you know, I didn't buy this, you know, at all to do that, so it doesn't much matter. Um, see, I keep seeing it. Oh, I'm too much. I gotta get rid of that habit. I sound like an idiot. Durr. Anyways, let's take a look at this new mic setup. The only thing I'm worried about is, uh, is it's in the, um, it's not in a proper housing, it's just in that black frame you can get for GoPros, so I'm kind of a little paranoid about it. I hope it doesn't fall off. Let's close that and get less wind noise. Nice beamer. So many of those around here. There's a nice bike. I can't tell what it is. Anyways, so this is the uh, retry at the uh, long-term review for the highball, victory highball. Um, like I said, let's, uh, let's start off with the things I love about this thing. I mean, it's just that uh, Freedom 106, um, just torquey as hell. Uh, 1731 cc's and, and uh, in new speak there uh, instead of you know cubic inches um, you know obviously the 106 is cubic in inches uh, um, it's you know it's super torquey it's actually not bad in the city you can basically pick up from him anywhere I mean, I'm more or less hanging around the first three gears when I'm in the city. Uh, first is more or less just the start. So, you usually don't stick around there. You're usually between second and third a lot. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice slow down. Uh, like any standard V-twin American bike, of course. Um, it actually corners really well. I just suck at cornering. So... Um, especially since I'm coming up to a spot where I actually low sided this bike uh, when I first got it, <laughs> like three weeks in. But again, I'm gonna wait for that story later, um, even though my uncle likes to bring it up all the time. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know what? It's not too bad. Everyone asks me, you know, what about the handlebars, right? Being up so high. Uh, I think that's just a matter of choice or preference or fit. 
Um, you know, it depends on your body type and, and a whole bunch of things, right? If you're a tall guy, um, it's probably better. For me, I'm 6'11", or sorry, not 6'11", I'm 5'11". The not huge, I'm no NBA star, that's for sure. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it just below my shoulder. I just kind of relax them nicely. They're quite nice, no different. Like, I don't get them any tired than when I had a, a, a normal bike set up on my Maxim. You know, it, it is a bit more of a pain in the ass for really slow stuff, like, um, right here is when I lost it, but anyways, really slow stuff, like parkades, uh, it's not the best for that, or, you know, it's, it's not, it's not bad, like, you just gotta lean forward a little bit, and especially when you're doing, like, a really tight turn, um, it just, there's some tricks you gotta use. But when you're going, it's great. It, it's really quite nice. Um, again, I might just be used to it. Um, but I, I like it a lot. Really the plane. Hope you can pick that up on, on uh, the camera there. This, this is a great spot if you ever have your headphones on and, uh, and you got some... Um, Top Gun theme on there, and I just touch blaring, you know. Danger zone. <laughs> Especially if you hit this part, a plane's coming by, that's just the best. I, I, I mean, I'm a total loser, I know, but that's freaking awesome, you gotta admit. Oh. Um, I was like, yes, it is. Handlebars, you know, again. In the city, not too bad. Actually, one of the nice things about them are these mirrors. Um, you know, they're the concave one, they're nice and big. These are the stock ones. A lot of guys switch it to like the Ness, Ar I think Arling Ness. Um, kind of like a, a fish hook uh, type of look to them. I, I wouldn't, I like this look. I mean, I, maybe I would switch it to like a nice round one, but it would have to be still fairly big. Um, these ones are nice. Uh, I get a good view of all the cars around me. Um, you know, I can see who's coming up behind me. I can see that who's kind of near the side in, in, in the, um, what do you call it there? The, uh, blind spots. It doesn't really have a blind spot. I mean, I still check, but it doesn't take much to check. Like, usually they're in just the side of my arm, eye and my peripherals. Um... So, you know, it's not bad. I like it. Especially for that. Especially in this city where, uh, you know, you got to make sure no one's tailgating you. Which they do a lot here. Even on a bike. Um, I mean, they give you a bit more space usually. Like, majority of people. But there's still lots that don't. And uh, hopefully here we're going to see that no one knows how to merge in the city either. Especially in this one. It's just terrible. Those two are basically fighting for position right now, which is sad. It's like, you know, they don't give each other space. And then they have one of them has to stop, and then that stops the whole thing. It's crazy. Um, anyways, but I'm getting off topic, so let's stick with the bike. Uh, the transmission's not bad. Like, I, you know, it's fairly smooth actually shifting. It's just the noise it makes, I guess, that people, I heard people complain about. Um, there's a couple of reviews out there. I actually have a few saved in a playlist um, Where it makes this big ka-chunk noise like like almost like a shotgun I think but you know people will probably disagree uh, I like the noise. I, I think it's kind of cool. It, I like the feel too that it, you know I know I've shifted properly when you hear that clunk and you kind of feel it all engaged. It's very industrial um you know, it's not sports clutch, obviously, you know, it's, it's wet, uh, wet sump or whatever they call it, so, you know, maybe that's some information I should say. Again, I'm, I'm no expert on this stuff, I'm, I'm still learning, um, but, you know, it's a pretty heavy-duty clutch, and it's not bad. I mean, hopefully you can hear that, like, chunk, chunk, chunk I just did. Um, now, that being said, there are, that's the only thing I, I do have some troubles with, uh, for instance, like if you're coming in, like a lot of times when I'm coming off the highway or coming off a fast section into a turn, um, well not a turn, but like a intersection of where I'm gonna turn. It's 
usually where it happens the most for some reason. Uh, if you go in the first and you're going really quick, but you're, you know, you're holding down the clutch and you're just kind of getting the first because you know you're going to just kind of coast and, and then break. Uh, it, it'll sometimes do this almost electronic shut off. It, it feels electronic. Um, it's really quite weird because it's like a noise and it just stops. Um, it, it starts up right away usually on with electric start there um, pretty well and you don't feel too in danger, I, I have to admit. But, you know, it's a little unsettling too at the same time. I, I don't know if anyone else who has high balls has had that, but you know, it might just be my bike. But uh, it's also something you should get used to. I mean, you basically, if you're on the move, don't use first unless you're totally stopped. That, that's my opinion. Uh, it seems to like to stay in second once it's moving. Um, and that's about it. Uh, the other thing is, of course, you know, if you're like coming to a stop here, it's best once about here to kind of be in first or second i mean you like it kind of contradicts what i just said but uh you know you want to be in in either one or two usually two and then if you press down the next one's um neutral uh, just like right now i'm in first i go up boom it goes on neutral out of a intersection like I said it goes to the neutral real easy when it's in first and second but just to warn you if you're in third or fourth when you've come to the stop it, it gets a little it doesn't like to find first it likes just to go to the neutral when you're stopped for some reason um, I think that's something that you, they want uh, a lot I, I don't know if it's set up that way just to find the neutral easier uh, but getting the neutrals easy getting it in the gear can be hard sometimes um, kind of hard for me to explain, uh, but I guess my advice, if you have one, is just to kind of keep, get the second or at least first when you're still slightly moving, not very fast, just slightly, um, and then you're good. Uh, you know, it just gets a little awkward if you, you get to like one of those stops on, or stops where you stop for a split second and it goes green all of a sudden. And then you're in third, it takes a while to get in the first to get going. Are you fucking serious, bro? Oh, man. Yeah, that's uh, standard traffic around here. Basically treat every intersection like, you know, someone's trying to kill you. That's how you survive in Vancouver. Anyway, it's getting off topic. Uh, so yeah, I mean, coming from, you know, first to second can also be a bit of a difficult thing since I think there's a big gap there and it, it takes a while. So you really gotta upshift to get in the second sometimes <laughs> not always oh, I don't like talking when I'm stopped I'm a little insecure about that I think Pretty 
pretty much cover it. I mean, the bike's, you know, really nice. It's got decent gas mileage. I don't think I get much more difference than my old little 400 Max I'm really in the city. Um, the tank's a little bit bigger. And I go through a tank almost as quick. But, you know, it's like 20 bucks every week. Um, you know, that's Canadian money, Canadian prices, which are higher. We got more tax. Um, uh, again, it's saying on oh, too fucking much. Again, I mean, those are the main points all I can really think about. Um, it's, it is not bad in long distance. I mean, it's kind of meant for the city, from what I understand a lot of people say, but, you know, it does really well long distance. Um, it's quite comfortable. I do have an upgraded seat. I upgraded to the Solo, the Flame Solo seat from Victory. That just kind of goes on, of course. Uh, it gives you a little pad on the back that you could use for uh, a passenger seat or, or I usually use it for my bags uh, and then I got a sissy bar back there which which really makes it the best for you know I put my gear bag on there a lot for when I go to the gym I got this huge gear bag because I got a lot of stuff uh, and or for long distance travel when you know you got a big duffel bag there basically on your sissy bar that's that's one of the best buys I've ever done definitely the best uh, things for cruisers is when you get like a, it's not a huge sissy bar but you know it's all up to your taste but it's, it really helps with uh with uh carrying your gear and i think it's a better better look and a better option than uh, saddlebags that's just my opinion um you know another bike yeah let me see here what was i gonna say too oh the suspension uh it's actually really very plush Again, I haven't ridden a whole lot of sports bikes, but I, you know, I would presume just by the the how what they are supposed to be for that they'd have a really harsh suspension. Um, I could be wrong on that, uh, so don't don't get too upset with me. I actually haven't ridden a whole lot of sports bikes, but uh, you know, the suspension's way better than my old like '81 Maxim. But you know, that's timeline and everything. It's got a uh, single mono shock in the back, uh, right under your butt. Um, which is really, really good. I've never, I've only once hit something and you have to hit it at a really good speed. You gotta hit something big and fast to, you know, get any feeling in your, in your kidneys or your ass when you hit stuff in the back tire. Uh, the front suspension has a lot of travel. I mean, I don't know, if you have any questions about that, like that, those type of stats up, I mean, I'm not gonna go over with it yet, but, you know, for a big guy like me, it, it, I don't feel much, like it's, it's great. Um, and, and the handling is really quite nice, especially these big, uh, big choppy tires they got on them. Um, you can really lean in with this bike. Uh, um, you know, you got a counter steer and everything like that, which, you know, I, I didn't really do much on my little bike. Um, and I have to do obviously more. I obviously guess uh, maybe it's because it's a bigger bike, but um, I like that type of thing too. Um, with my little, little bike, I mean, again, I'm a big guy. I just found, I felt unstable all the time, like on this little tiny toy of a bike. So, you know, it's one of the reasons I, I got this, is because I felt unstable. Um, especially in low procedures, like it's really weird, like, it, you know, I, it's it'll go, but I just felt so unstable. Uh, this bike just feels stable and locked all the time. Um, you know, you feel quite safe. Uh, it doesn't ever feel too squirrely or anything like that other than in the rain uh, which I'll get to hopefully sometime later oh I don't know if you can pick that noise up but that's oh I love that noise on these on these uh, on some of these bridges where you get the sound bounces off these uh, side things here oh, 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 oh. I also need something to just pick up and go went a lot more and something sounded better I think 
I don't know. A noise wise, um, that's, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's a Harley. You know, it's definitely not a Harley. Uh, this thing's got stage one uh, straight pipes on it uh, from Victory Performance. Uh, and um, they sound really nice. Like, you know, when I was searching around for bikes, I. Uh, I tried out the, the Harley that I really wanted was the Street uh, Street Bob, the Dyna Street Bob, I guess. I better get in the other lane, actually. Hold on one second here. I can't think and do two things at once. The cool guy. to do um, and the Dyna um, actually didn't see it. it had the stock pipe so this is kind of an unfair advantage I'm sure Harley if they had like their stage one kit probably sounds way better um, you know so and, and uh, you know I, I also think it's hard to judge on a bike for some reason I just think the sound sounds different once you're off of it versus when you're on it uh, that's probably nothing new to everyone. Um, let me see here. Sort of steam up again. Also, the control well, I just thought was better on this bike, uh, even though the, the street bob's not bad. Um, also, the handlebars didn't seem as AP. Like I went from I tried this bike first, and then went on the street bob, and the street bob just seemed small. Um, you know, it, it just didn't seem the same. Like, I, I, I'm not trashing Harley guys. I like Harleys for sure. Um, but it just seemed more badass, this thing, when you, when you try it. Oh, scooter, scooter guy. Definitely sounds better than a scooter, that's for sure. <laughs> Get another lane here. Get on this lane and then turn, but forget it. <sighs> Anyways, I've lost. I lost what I was thinking about here. busy all the time in Vancouver. Seems like a constant rush hour, I swear. Granted, I think it's like considered Vancouver's most, or no, sorry, North America's some like first, second most congested city next to LA or something like that. Uh, this thing really just, it's good to have a bike in the city, that's for sure. Granted, this, you know, the handlebars too, you, it, it's illegal uh, to um, to uh, lane split in BC, um, but occasionally I do it. Um, not when I'm not when people are moving, but if traffic stopped and I I want to make a turn, I'll squeeze by once in a while. But you get to watch these handlebars because uh, a lot of times it's almost the same level as people's mirrors. So yeah, if it's a tight squeeze, you you definitely want to watch it on this thing. If you're from Cali, and you can lane split properly. Anyways, I'm at work. Um, 
I'll probably continue, continue this on my way back, because, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to address some points on the other, hey, other, uh, reviews I've made. But, I'm at work here. Come on, there we go. Oh, he sounds so much better in a parkade. Oh. Being childish. Complete hooligan. That's about the extent of my hooliganism. I can't do wheelies or stoppies or burnouts. I'm pretty much a giant pussy. Won't lie. Uh, you know, if you drop 17, oh, right price, 17,000 on a bike, I'm not quite ready to start doing stoppies and wheelies on it. There's a look of it. See? I don't like wearing my backpack, back sack, backpack. Ooh, can't talk, still morning, no coffee. There's a sissy bar. Anyways, I'm going to call it there, guys. Let's pick this up when I, uh, when I get off.